I'm Benjamin, the director of the immersive division of Dirty Monitor. Dirty Monitor is the creator of this immersive show. All along the, the show, we will follow Monet through his voyage, going from Paris to London. The storytelling for us is very important in this kind of show, obviously. We like to keep it balanced between an informative show and entertainment. And into these letters, he's speaking about, he's feeling about the city, right? He's speaking about the lighting. He's speaking about how does the, the location affect his mood. And when you gather all of that, you understand some of his creation, right? And that's the, the approach we want to take. You, you know, we want to take like a different approach from museum and just focusing on milestones. We want to give back like a bit of the background story, you know, why did he paint that precise, uh, uh, that precise creation at that precise time, right? What was his mind spirit at that time? So the show in Hong Kong for us is kind of specific, right? Because obviously of the scale, this, this installation is pretty, pretty, pretty wide. We have no 35 meters long projection wall. It's a 4K projection, so very high uh, definition of projection. So, so uh, in terms of technology, it's, uh, it's already a kind of a challenge itself. We have uh, nearly six meters high projection, so so the scale is pretty impressive. But as well the venue, right? Because we we build a venue on a square, which is totally unusual, and it's as well a challenge in logistic and a challenge in techniques. So about the the creation itself, so the projection. So we start from about 200 different paints, and our 2D artists have extracted some specific elements, foreground and backgrounds. Uh, so we could animate them separately, right? And at the end, one of the main challenges is from one of those very large projections, we actually use, it can be up to 20, 50 different paints that we assemble together to have a seamless, nice projection. By extracting some element and doing some animation, you know, you give some energy in the, in the, in, in the scene, but you also have to keep it very subtle, right? And what's also very important for us in the creation is the audio, is the soundtrack. This soundtrack really had something to, to the emotion, right? Uh, uh, because it goes together with each single element. It also will uh, emphasize some, uh, some maybe emotion of Monet itself, a certain moment of his life. So it's not only visuals, but it's also audio, you know, right? You could nearly see it once with all audio and video, and then you can shut your eyes and just listening to the nice audio track. And that's, that's also very important for us. In addition to the soundtrack, we have uh, actually a 36 minute voiceover. And this 36 minute voiceover is about the letters of Monet. So it will take along the, the audience through Monet's voyage with that voiceover, you know? It adds again to the immersion. So the letters he wrote during all his life is pretty much to his family, friends, but also to his gardener, for instance, right? He had a lot of conversation with his gardener about how to maintain his garden, uh, uh, what should be planted at what time, you know, that's very interesting. So that aspect of Monet's life also is not very well known, and that's why we want to put a bit the attention on that. So in the case of an artist like Claude Monet, uh, the artworks are extremely valuable and you know, kept in very different museums across the world. So it's very difficult to be able to organize a sizable exhibition of his work in one go. Uh, the chance of the immersive show is that you can bring like here 200 works in one go. So it allows you to really look at the entire evolution of Monet's work, the different theme he was trying to to paint and also cover a little bit of his life. Uh, and in addition, uh, the great thing with digitalizing the artworks is that you can maximize the size. So if we can look in the case particularly of Monet and the impressionist touch, you can look, look at how he was painting, um, how he was creating the landscape and how he was trying to recreate this movement of the light and the water and specifically to make the entire experience very interesting for the general audience from children to teenagers to the elderly. Uh, we built this introduction room that allows you on top of the amazing uh, immersive experience to also learn a little bit about Monet's life, uh, the different milestones in his life when he lost his wife, um, where he went to travel because that's the entire theme. Uh, so it helps you to understand a little bit also about the technique, about some of the masterpieces of Monet, why they are so important and why is the value of art because as well, you know, it's always a question we have here in Hong Kong. In addition, also, we have a VR experience. So you can have 12 minutes of VR where we, we, we dive into Monet's garden in Giverny and his workshop. So even if you don't yet have the chance to travel there, you can get a sense of 
uh, where I was working and living, and particularly this garden that has this you know, very Japanese-influenced uh, um, uh, creation. For the visitors, um, whether you know Monet or not, which I think is really uh, the value of this uh, entire immersive show, is that you don't need to be an expert. You don't need to have much academic background about the Impressionism of Monet. You can directly feel and understand uh, what Monet was trying to achieve throughout his life. Uh, so that, I think, is, is the magic also of this entire experience.